My name is Evan Thomas Weiss. I am into it over it. And this is how music saved my life. When I was young, my mom and dad both played in bands. It's actually how they met. And um, so it had a really great romanticized view of music starting at a young age. Um, my mom used to play in this like new wave punk band from Philadelphia and my dad was playing in a like a disco band. And they met playing the same show and they were started dating right after that. And, um, Eventually both those bands broke up and I was born, but they were playing in a wedding band following that and the wedding band used to rehearse in the house that I grew up in. And I remember being young and being like really excited about all the equipment and the gear and the things in the house and, and um, you know, and they were always down with letting me listen to their albums, their like, you know, the punk or their new wave albums downstairs and I was, you know, really into just enjoying music at a very, very young age. You know, the person who bought me Nirvana's Nevermind was my mom, you know, like stuff like that. And, uh, when I was old enough to want to play the guitar, I asked if I was able to play the guitar. Um, and that was really the start of being involved, but uh, it wasn't until I was 12 or 13 that I found um, punk or like, you know, an underground community where you could go to shows or be involved in a scene. I think when a lot of other kids I was going to high school with were turning to alcohol or turning to drugs, uh, a core group of us were able to just turn to punk shows or indie shows or emo shows or hardcore shows, like something to do, like, oh, what are you doing Thursday? Oh, I'm gonna go see this band Jeremy Friday Night play at this, you know, VFW Hall in Bedford, you know, where I grew up. Um, I grew up in New Jersey. Like, South New Jersey at that time was an incredible place to be if you were interested in, in underground music. And, um, that was such a big deal. It would have never been, never been possible without just that initial uh, push from my parents and then that finding, having that thing to go to when I was, in my very earliest stages of adolescence. The first band I was ever in was called J.A.R., named after the Green Day song of same name. And we were in the fifth grade, and our first song was called My Life, and it was awful. <laughs> but, you know, as we got older, we got better at our instruments, and we started, you know, writing better songs, and then um, that band later became a band I was in for a long time called The Progress. And these were dudes that I'd gone to elementary school with, and eventually went to high school with, and then eventually started touring with and playing, you know, all over the country with. You know, I'd played in the progress and done that for a long time, and then when that band began to dissolve, I started doing Include it Over It. And it wasn't until then that I was really able to make it something worthwhile for me to take full time. Music, as far as something that I've enjoyed in my adult life, is the most important thing in my adult life. And it always has been. I'm 28 years old, and it's been that way since I've been 18 years old. You know, 10 years of going to shows, booking tours, being on the road, playing guitar, writing songs, putting out records, like, it's really, at the end of the day, that's all that matters to me. You know, I'm you know, up in the middle of the night, you know, writing things down or playing the guitar in my house. And, you know, and I've never thought about any other career or any other uh, lifestyle that I'd want to live since I've been 15 years old. If you think that you're the only person that's gone through the things you're going through, you're absolutely not. You are absolutely not the only person that has gone through those things. Speaking from experience, I feel like I've been through it all and it happens to everyone, it's part of life. And I know that, I have a lot of friends, I know a lot of people who, who feel like they need to do a certain thing or need to behave a certain way or need to uh, answer to a certain, a certain status quo that because they, they be judged differently or looked at differently for not just doing what they think is right. And I gotta let you know that that's not true. You just gotta do you, you gotta be you. You gotta, you gotta just do what you think is the right thing to do and what you think is what's best for you. Um, it's okay to be original and it's okay to be weird. It's okay to be different. Like all those things are fine. They, and and um, that's the best advice I could ever give because uh, the peace of mind that comes along with that is, is uncompromised. Absolutely uncompromised.